Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be taking a closer look at the Line Mega City. Construction has officially begun in the highly controversial and highly anticipated the Line Mega City in Saudi Arabia, which is part of the Neom City development, is a 170 kilometer long, 500 meter high, and 200 meter wide mirrored Lanier City that is expected to house 9 million people. The Mega City will feature a sleek mirror glass facade making it taller than the Empire State Building, and will run entirely on renewable energy with the help of artificial intelligence with no roads, cars, or carbon emissions. When the project was first announced in 2017, it sparked debate and raised eyebrows due to its extravagant proposed features, such as flying taxis and robot maids, with many questioning its feasibility. However, recent drone footage shows the initial stages of construction on the site, with hundreds of trucks and machines at work preparing the area for building. Excavation work is taking place along the entire length of the project, with the foundations for the city expected to be built within a wide linear trench in the northwest desert of the Arab nation. The line is being dubbed as the most dramatic project in the world of architecture and construction, and its design is based on the concept of zero-gravity urbanism, which organizes communities in three dimensions of movement up, down, or across. The three layers of the city include a surface level pedestrian layer full of parks and open spaces, a lower surface layer, and an underground transportation spine that would consist of ultra-high speed transit. According to the proposal, all daily services would be walkable within five minutes of each node on the line, and that commutes between nodes on the high speed transit would take no more than 20 minutes. However, some experts have raised concerns about the feasibility of these goals. To support this level of public transport, the line would require large nodes capable of holding more people, and if there aren't enough people at every stop, it would be impossible to economically sustain this infrastructure. It is also unclear if the technology for the line's transit system exists yet as traveling 100 miles in 20 minutes would require a speed of 318 miles per hour, which outperforms existing high-speed rail by a long shot. Eurostar trains in Europe travel about 199 miles per hour, and some of China's high-speed rail trains have reached speeds of 236 miles per hour. Theoretically, the Hyperloop technology being developed by Elon Musk could manage the journey, but even that technology is still at least a decade away from use. Despite these uncertainties, work on the Mega City is now underway, and it will be interesting to see how the project progresses and if it can live up to its ambitious goals. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.